Hey, what's good my BGA crew? Welcome back to my channel. So today I decided to recreate my most popular video here on YouTube and it is the Mexican style hot dogs. Um, I've already described in that video what these have. I'm just going to give you the gist of what's going on here and the names of each one. This one right here is the Sinaloa. It has nacho cheese and crunched up cheddar cheese, free, um, not Fritos, Ruffles. Uh, this one right here, mind you, they're all wrapped in bacon. Um, this one right here is the Sonora. It has mustard, ketchup, green chili, guacamole, mayo, onions, uh, pinto beans, tomatoes. This one right here is the Arizona. This one has chili, nacho cheese, cheddar cheese, guacamole. This one right here is the Chihuahua. Ahua, Chihuahua. That's, that's where my dad's family's from. <laughs> anyway, this one got green salsa, guacamole, mayonnaise, ketchup, minus the mustard, tomatoes and onions. Very briefly, I wanna give a shout out to Diane's sister, Crystal. Shout out to you, boo. She watches all of my videos. She is so amazing and supportive. Thank you so much. And her son was telling me today that um, she was requesting for me to do Mexican food, that she's been wanting to see me do Mexican food on my channel. So here you go. This is dedicated to Crystal. Hey, boo. All right. And then obviously this video is sponsored by my Tiffy. She went ahead and hooked it up with these hot dogs today. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started because I am suave. All right, you guys, I don't even know. You know what? I'm going to start with my favorite one. Oh, let me not start with my favorite one yet. Let me start with my favorite thing, my prayer. I'm so hungry. I can't even think. God, I always give thanks to the man, a man up above. Heavenly Father, please bless this food. Bless the hands that prepared it. I ask that you please help those that are suffering and in pain, those that are hungry, those that are homeless, Lord. I ask that you please put peace in the hearts of those that have lost their loved ones, Father. In your precious name I pray, in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. All right, you guys, so let's dig into the Sinaloa. Ow! Donde están todos los de Sinaloa? Where are all my Sinaloenses at? Where you at? Where you at? Row deep right now. If you are Mexican and your state is represented, even if your state's not even represented right here. If you are Mexican, put in the uh, comments below Mexican flag. Flood the comments with Mexican flag. And if you're not Mexican and you just have love for the Mexican people or you're dating or married to someone Mexican, put it, put hearts and the Mexican flag in the comments below. All right. Oh, man. This dedicated to all my Mexicanos. Los adoro, los amo. Mm. Oh. Um. <laughs> oh my God. I love being Mexican. I love my culture, I love my food. Mmm. Oh my god. Mmm. Mmm. Hasta se me van a salir los ojos. Mmm. I feel like one of those cartoon characters when their eyes bulge out out of their head. Oh my god, this one's so good. Mmm. Mmm. That nacho cheese. Oh wow. Well. Then it went. Ooh, ooh. Este chile güerito está pero perrón. Wow. Mmm. So far. I rate Sinaloa a 10 out of 10. 
Got that bacon wrapped sausage. A little bit of tomato in there. Nacho cheese and the cheddar cheese ruffles. Ooh. Oh man, that's cheddar cheese explosion. And then of course I got a lemon lime ice. I love to waterfall my drinks. I can drink from a bottle and not feel like my, my thirst is quenched. I feel like my thirst is truly quenched when I waterfall and just get a <laughs> All right, you guys. Next, let's move on to the Sonora. This is the infamous, this is where it all began, this is where it all started in Sonora, Mexico. And that's what we got right here. But we need a little intermission in between hot dogs. I got some baked cheddar and sour cream ruffles in honor of my favorite hot dog, the Sinaloa. And then of course, my favorite hot sauce, Tabasco. Oh. We're going to leave this on deck right here, just in case I want that on my hot dogs. Oh. Mm. These, I forgot to mention, these hot dogs are from a place called La Pasadita. If you guys have had hot dogs from La Pasadita, I don't know if they have them anywhere else, but they're popular here in Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, let me know down in the comments below if you guys have had La Pasaditas hot dogs. And if you've had them, what do you think? All right. Now we are moving on to the Sonora hot dog. Look at that. All right. Here we go. Oh. Oh, this has all kinds of goodies in there. Free horn. So it has pinto beans. I don't know if you can see that in there. Right here. It has whole pinto beans. I don't know. If, yeah, this one's a Sonora. And this one's a Chihuahua. Either or, it could be backwards. <laughs> they look identical. Um, but one of them doesn't have beans and I don't remember if the Sonora has beans or the Chihuahua has beans. Mm. I'm sorry. There is no bread that can go with these hot dogs other than this one. This is a special made bread for Sonora hot dogs. It is super, super soft and it has a hint of sweetness. It's almost like a sweet bread, but not that sweet. It's, you know, it just, I can't even describe it, but it's super, super soft and fluffy. And it complements everything so perfect. Mmm. 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 What? 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 Mmm. Mm. Love. I've seen a girl. I forget that. The, oh, oh, that's hot. Whoa. Wow. I've seen a video of this girl. She recreates other cultures' foods. And she bakes them, you know? She does like other cultures, um, comfort foods, other cultures like holiday food, you know, just different things. And one of them, she chose Mexico, the Sonora hot dog, because one of her viewers requested it. I was cringing. She gets an A for effort. 
But homegirl ended up using bolillo bread that we have for menudo. Bolillo bread is more on the crusty, hard side. It's not hard, but it's more on the sourdoughy, baguette type bread. And this one is completely different. I mean, like, look, that one is just so soft. You cannot use crusty bolillo bread as a Sonora hot dog bread. And it was just more bread than there was a hot dog and condiments. Like, it was like 90% bread. And she, like, bit into it and she was, like, struggling. And she's like, you know, it wasn't really my favorite. Da -da 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 -da. I'm like, homegirl, that's because you didn't, you didn't do the do. Like, no, boo. Had she had one of these, would have been a whole different story. I can guarantee that. These are bomb. All right. So we did Sinaloa. We did Sonora. Saludos a toda mi gente sonorense. Saludos. Les mando un abrazo y un besote de parte de BGA. All right. Now we're going to move on to my home state of Arizona. We are representing Arizona right here in this hot dog. So yes. Oh. Oh. Look at that. Look at that. We got some chili, chili beans, some nacho cheese, actual real cheddar cheese, guacamole salsa, and yeah, and then a bacon wrapped hot dog. All right, you guys, cheers. Mm. Oh. I lied. That was not chili beans at all. <laughs> I did, I should have done my research. That is smoky chipotle sauce. Oh my gosh. That bite just slapped me 10 times across the face. It literally went like literally. I just got slammed in the face by someone's hand. Una cachetadota. Mm. Oh. Wow. Dang, that chipotle with the cheese, yo. Oh, that's real good. Oh man, that is bomb. Oh my God, that's so refreshing. Wow. Mm. <laughs> I know people are gonna think like he barely put it in his mouth and he's already, mmm, ah, ooh. You guys, I know you don't think this touches my tongue fast enough. It does. It does. It really does. The minute that I bite into it, that cheese and that chipotle sauce just go, wow. Yeah. Yeah. It's like karate chops. My my taste buds. I'm like, what? I'm like, what? Wow. Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. I know that was so ugly. I don't care though. Mm. Wow. <laughs> That's good. That was really good. Mmm. You heard it. I 
I need me another drink. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so we are about to dig into the Chihuahua. So we did the, we did the, ooh! We did the Sinaloa, the Sonora, the Arizona, and then this is the Chihuahua. Ouch! Where are all my Chihuahuenses at? Arriba Chihuahua, cabrones! Ouch! All right. Oh yeah, this one doesn't have the beans. I'll figure it out later. I could either be eating the Sonora hot dog right now or the Chihuahua. This one, the second one over here, could have either been the Sonora or the Chihuahua. If I got them mixed up, I will flash across the screen the name of the correct one. If I got it correctly, then I'm just gonna leave it as is. Mmm. I'm not a big fan of tomatoes and tacos, tostados, burritos, hamburgers, none of that. Except on here. It is so refreshing. I'm not even lying. It adds a burst of flavor and like refreshingness. I think because they're juicy, you know? Oh my gosh. Mmm. Oh yeah, tomatoes are a must. Oh wow, that's good. That is really good. That bacon. Let me know who loves bacon. Let me know in the comments below. Oh shoot. This one has cheese in it too, white cheese. Mm. Mm. Okay. For those of you that want to see my original video, which is my most popular video on, on my channel, I'm going to put the link in the description box below. That way you guys can see my original. I, I did that video right around the time that I was first starting YouTube. So I'm a little rusty. I'm a little finding. You know, I was at a point in my life where I was finding myself. Especially here on YouTube. You know, I was trying to find my little niche and, and see where I fit in, fit in and what my person, you know, that's... Right around the time I started finding my personality and my goofiness and letting it out, you know. Not so much finding it, but like letting it out. Because I've always been this goofy, crazy person, you know. Oh. Mm. This is so fun. And I know, you guys, there's a lot of you. They have told me in the past, I don't like hot dogs. I'm not a big hot dog person. Guess what? I'm not a hot dog person either. I don't like hot dogs. The only hot dogs I can eat is a Polish dog from Costco or Sam's Club with sauerkraut, mustard, and onions. I'm okay with that one. Or a Mexican Sonora dog. But if you just get me a ballpark... Frank with mustard or ketchup or relish or something like that. Like, no, not happening. It's the toppings for me. <laughs> wow. Thank you to my tiffers. She hooked it up. Mm. Now let's wash it down with this ice black cherry. Ah. Oh. oh, that's good.
good. Oh, that's tart. That is really good. All right, you guys. Now that I ate about 10 pounds worth of food, we are, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> four hot dogs, four hot dogs. That's a lot. Anyway, I recommend you guys to try Mexican style hot dogs. They are so fun to eat. And the options are kind of, you know, limitless, endless, if, if you will. Because you can essentially just put whatever you want on a hot dog. Especially a Mexican hot dog. You can put, you know, pickled jalapeno slices on it, nacho cheese, crunched up Doritos, crunched up hot Cheetos. If you haven't already, I also have a uh, not flaming hot Cheeto Sonora hot dog video. So if you haven't seen that, you know what, I'll actually put that in the... I'll put the link to that video in the description box below as well, just so you guys can watch for fun, um, in case you guys haven't watched it. But yeah, um, I mean, you guys, all you gotta do is wrap your hot dog in bacon, fry it, and put whatever toppings float your boat. As always, you guys, I wanna give a big thank you and a big shout out to all of my BGA crew members. I love you guys so much. I appreciate each and every one of you. I thank you for your loyalty and your love and your support, not just towards me, but towards each other. When I come on live, either on YouTube or Instagram, you guys are always, you know, uh, for those of you that are venting, we're always there for support. I love to see the support be between each other, between you guys as the viewers and, you know, you know myself and vice versa. Um, I thank you guys so much. If you're watching this and you're not yet a part of the BGA crew, if you're not a part of this amazing family, I want to invite you to go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. Make sure you ring that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload or anytime that I go live because I do do live mukbangs. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, besitos.